Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing? Well, I'm out in my shop tonight, and uh, y'all can probably hear having a little bit drizzling of rain right now. But um, I've got this uh, 2000 GMC 3500 in here, and my horn didn't work. And uh, so I took it apart, and what the problem was, the original horn on it was just bad. So I ordered a um, like a air horn, and I got this uh, particular one off of Amazon. Uh, let me see, I'll give y'all a part number right here. It's a 6489. It is uh, showing, name of it is a snail air horn. And uh, it's electric air type horn. And uh, I just want to show y'all uh, kind of what I did in case you want to try to put one on your vehicle. Uh, it's real easy installation. Um, so I'll just show you what I did here. Let me get a light here so maybe y'all can see a little bit better. All right. So the original uh, connector on this truck, you have a green wire and you have a black wire. This green wire is going to be your hot wire, and you can check it with a uh, like a test light to verify. Just ground your test light and take the uh, other end of the probe and have somebody to uh, push the horn. If it lights up, I'll let you know which side is hot. Cause you'll need to know which one. This is gonna be ground here. But if you're doing this on a different vehicle, uh, like I said, that's how you would check it. Just to verify uh, which one is your hot wire. And um, I went ahead and cut this off and uh, I'm gonna save this in case I ever wanna hook it back up and put a regular horn back on it. But um, so what I did, I just took my grill off here and uh, I just mounted it right here to come to a boat and I, and I took the boat out the held the uh, horn on the original horn and I just screwed the uh, boat up in there is the same threads and uh, then I just kind of pushed this down here and put a couple tie straps around it in case it ever come undone but you can see how it's good and sturdy right there so as far as the wiring part of it what you want to do here you have instructions that shows you uh, what to do, but I'll just go ahead and show you uh, on this video what I did here. Right here, you're gonna have a black wire that you'll hook right here for your ground, and it, it'll show you which side is ground. Have a negative and a positive on this plastic on the inside here. So this black wire right here, I just grounded it right behind this transmission cooler. And uh, this yellow wire right here, this is going to be your hot wire, and it goes to your relay. And the relay, I just kind of put some tape around it. So um, in case it kind of rain or anything blowing into the front of it, it just kind of seal it a little bit better. But I uh, took this uh, bolt out right here for the transmission cooler to uh, just put that uh, relay up there and I tighten it back down. And my uh, original horn wire, which is right here, I just uh, took some spade connectors and uh, this blue wire, this is going to be hot wire. So this blue wire goes to your hot side, which on this particular truck is your green wire. And this white wire goes to your ground side on your original wire. And like I say, the blue wire goes right here into your relay. And uh, this white wire, which is your ground, that goes into your relay. So basically, all you're gonna have here is your wires right here your hot yellow hot wire your black ground wire and your blue coming out of your relay which is going to be your hot wire and this white wire which is going to be your ground wire and uh, you just get all that hooked up and you're going to have one more wire which you can't see it right here it is a red wire that comes uh, out of your relay right here and uh, that red wire is going to be a hot wire going to your battery and the way i did that i just uh you get slack so y'all can see. I just put in some wiring loom and just went across behind the um, horn right there and just went across this on top of the fan and uh, used some zip ties and tape just to uh, secure. I, I put the tape around the wire to give it extra, you know, uh, protection from ever rubbing anything like that. Now I just ran it on around through here, right here where the uh, condenser lines goes through the front I just run that wire through there and it comes back out and you see it right down in there 
and I just ran the uh, wire up here and put some uh, wiring loom on it and I taped it up and it does have a 30 amp fuse right there and get a little better y'all can see there it, um, you see that 30 amp fuse and then right here uh, just hook it to your hot uh, side of your battery and uh, tonight I'm not going to uh, it's done getting kind of late and I don't want to uh, blow the horn but in the morning uh, I'll finish this video off and let y'all hear how the horn sounds uh, it's very loud I wanted something a little bit louder than a stock horn that's why I decided to try one of these out and uh, I'm not disappointed y'all it does a real good job like I say, you can put this on any vehicle. It don't, it don't have to be a truck. Put them on cars. It don't have to be mounted on the front like I did this. Uh, you can mount them over into your engine compartment. Uh, just where you got room. And uh, I just want to show y'all um, kind of what I did on this particular truck. So if you have like a uh, anything like, you know, like a 94, 95, 96 on the 2000 Chevrolet, all this should be pretty much the same. So I just want to show you the quick, easy uh, installation, maybe help you out right there. Um, so I'll show y'all in the morning, uh, let you uh, hear it and see what y'all think about it. And uh, I'll show y'all back out here this morning and uh, just want to show y'all uh, how this new horn sounds on the truck here. Go ahead, Summer, hit it a couple times. Hit it one more time. All right. Well, y'all, there you go. Uh, it's real loud. And uh, if y'all uh, like where that horn uh, sounds there, uh, I'll put the information down below uh, showing which one I got and everything. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And as always, friends, y'all have a blessed day from our family to yours. Bye-bye.